New at 5, 44 small dogs are recovering after they were saved from what police say was a hoarding situation in Burton. And sadly, also inside of that home, investigators say there were some dogs mm -hmm. that did not make it. So, Alyssa, why were police called to the home of LaSalle Avenue Friday night? Well, Matt and Angie, according to police, a horrible scene and a smell prompted that call to police. Dozens of small dogs are now in Genesee County Animal Control's care, but it's a case investigators say they will not forget the sight of. We found 44 live dogs. During our search, we found 13 deceased dogs. Starvation is a concern, uh, neglect, and, uh, and ultimately when you have dogs that are that are not getting cared for medically or starving, that's torture. Chief Brian Ross with Burton Police said the inside living conditions in this home were horrific. The dogs were in kennels, stacked three high. Dogs that are on the top are urinating and defecating on the dogs underneath. Just a terrible, terrible situation. According to the investigation, a 49-year-old woman lived here with her son. She was breeding the dogs and it is not clear how long the dogs were in this situation. This is a case where we believe mental health and criminal responsibility collide. But police, investigators, and the prosecutor say the details laid out in the investigation were appalling. It was extraordinarily difficult to read. So sad, talking about dogs in cages, dogs caged who are dead, dogs under tarps. Just a very difficult situation. The Genesee County prosecutor says the woman is now facing three charges, including two felonies for animal cruelty and a misdemeanor violation for having a dead body of an animal. The home has since been condemned, as police said the owner did sign consent to give the dogs to animal control. It's a case that is also prompting those in office to let the public know there is help before it's too late. The educational process about there being help out there for people to be able that are getting overwhelmed with the situation so it doesn't turn into a situation like this. Coming up at six, I share the outpouring of support from the community as donations arrive to help these furry friends get the care they deserve. Here in the studio, Alyssa Irwin with ABC 12 News.